Mr. Guy from Chamber of Commerce, was you, would you like to go ahead now? Yeah, thank you very much, Chair and Honourable Senators. It's a pleasure to be appearing at this committee for the first time. The Canadian Chamber of Commerce welcomes the opportunity to provide comment on Bill 6 and provide comment on how we believe the federal government can improve Canada's regulatory system. Regulation continues to be a growing concern for many business and our members. As the pace of change facing Canadian business accelerates, companies must remain agile and adapt to remain competitive. The right policy environment sets industry up to succeed in this rapidly changing context and generates long-term economic growth, making Canada an attractive destination for business investment that will support economic growth requires getting the fundamentals right. Regulatory effectiveness is an integral dimension of competitiveness. Bill S6 represents needed change to the federal regulatory system and the need for continued commitment to its modernization. The Canadian Chamber of Commerce welcomes any incremental steps towards regulatory modernization. While I commend the government for pushing regulatory modernization agenda, I would challenge the government to move more boldly and more urgently. I would like to commend the government for opening the government Let's Talk Federal Regulations portal. The ability for business to provide feedback on regulation is critical in moving the file forward. In the time available, allow me to focus on a few points of interest moving forward. First, the government must look to implement an economic mandate to federal regulators. Too often, regulators do not give sufficient consideration to economic and impacts on business when making decisions. To remain competitive, this cannot be the case. We would urge the government to adopt an economic and competitive lens mandate for regulators to ensure it does not hinder growth for Canadian business. Second is regulatory alignment across jurisdictions, including both international and within Canada. When regulations are more consistent between jurisdictions, Canadian business are able to better trade within Canada and beyond while also giving Canadian consumers greater choice. The government must act actively work to improve collaboration and alignment to ensure Canadian business are not at a disadvantage in the global economy by made in Canada regulatory approaches that won't undermine our ability to compete with other jurisdictions. Third and lastly, the government must publicly pledge to provide regulatory certainty to Canadian business while unpredictable and burdensome regulation hold back entrepreneurial business, sound and effective regulation can both protect the public interest and, public, uh, and promote market success. Uncertainty and changing expectations in the regulatory process are a poison pill to those looking to invest billions of dollars developing new pipelines, new mines, and other large-scale nation-building infrastructure projects. The government needs to focus on facilitating and safely removing unnecessary barriers to level up Canada's competitiveness with other jurisdictions. The bill before the committee is a positive step forward. Honourable Senators, the status quo can't be used as an excuse not to act. Modernizing Canada's regulatory system provides an opportunity for government to work with business on becoming more competitive. It's an opportunity to grow our economy coming out of the pandemic. It does not require expensive new programs. Thank you again for the opportunity to address the committee, and I look forward to your questions. Thanks, Mr. Guy, very much. Uh, we'll be looking at those recommendations very closely.